good morning it is monday morning and we have a long day today today i have to take emmy to get a new cast put on we've had to go every week to get a new one it actually worked out kind of good because she's getting these casts nasty so it's really nice to know that they're getting changed out we also have to start i have to do a lot of meal prepping today so i think that's what i'm going to kind of show you guys how what i do because i'm leaving for georgia on wednesday morning and uh you know my family's got to eat so i'm going to kind of take you guys along to show you some of my meal prepping and our day all the stuff going on today. So yeah, here we go. What color did you get this time? Lolo. Well, well. well, well. And I want to tell them that I purple and red. The ortho doctor that has been seeing her the whole time, his last name is Delello, and nobody can ap apparently pronounce his name properly, so when she, he asked her what color she wanted today, um, and she said, Lello, he's like, wow, I bet you can pronounce my name right. <laughs> Whoa! These 
roasted sweet potatoes have been a staple in our house for years. Um, and my two biggest tips for this are to make sure you peel your sweet potatoes because if you don't peel them, it's like the skins get really almost chewy. And the second thing is to roast on a really high temperature. So I roast at 425. I used a little bit of avocado oil and that is it. While our sweet potatoes were roasting, I went ahead and started on my curry. So I really love this combination of onions, ginger, and garlic. I think this is such an awesome combination. And I really love this curry powder by Simply Organic. This is probably my favorite brand of curry powder. This is more of a traditional Indian style curry dish. Um, the only other spice I did use was cumin. And for this recipe, I'm just using jarred or canned um, garbanzo beans. And I added three cans to this recipe and two of the cans I drained all the liquid out of and then one of them I left some of the liquid just so that we'd have like a more creamy base. Then I just added in some diced tomatoes and let that simmer for a little while then I adjusted the seasoning. I did end up adding a little bit more curry powder as well as um, salt as well. Indian style curry dishes they do use either um, heavy cream or sour cream or butter something to give the the actual curry a creamy texture so what I did for this recipe is I just took a little bit of my cashew cream and I just blended like maybe about two cups or three cups of the actual um, curry and then I just added some of that back in and then what I did was I just actually used the remaining that I had left and I just kind of had that as a hummus so we this doubled as a curry hummus as well as kind of a thickener slash something to just give my curry some creamy texture and at the end of all of this I added in some fresh lime and if I had some fresh cilantro that would have been amazing too and I also did do a sprinkle of sugar <laughs> Having ready to eat greens is a very essential part to meal prepping for us because I feel like just getting enough greens is probably the hardest thing to do. Um, so I will definitely try to always have a decent amount of pre-cooked greens. For this recipe, I just caramelize some onions, throw in some bell peppers, and honestly I cook it very similar to cooking collards, but obviously a lot shorter time. So I just added a little bit of liquid smoke, a little bit of garlic powder, and some chili flakes. And at the end, I did add a splash of vinegar, but that's a preference. So just kind of think about the way you like your collards cooked and then just go from there. Because the twins drink smoothies every morning, I went ahead and also prepped some smoothies ahead of time. So I just made a green smoothie and I made a mixed berry smoothie. For the green smoothie, I did not add any um, dark fruits because I didn't want it to like change the color. I wanted it to be very vibrant green. And for both of these smoothies, I added dates as a sweetener and I added hemp seeds and flax seeds as well. I was dreaming of a
meal prep is done. So we have some jasmine rice, some greens, some um, hummus, some curried um, garbanzo beans, some sweet potatoes, some baked potatoes, some berry smoothie, and some green smoothie. other things that I actually prepped that I didn't show you guys are a few sauces so I made um, my basic cashew cream sauce I went ahead and prepped that yesterday um, so I didn't get to show you guys that but this is pretty much just cashews lemon juice apple cider vinegar nutritional yeast salt garlic powder um, I soak the cashews overnight and then I just blend them adding liquid as needed till I get like a thick almost sour cream consistency and then the other sauce that I made I used um, probably about two or three tablespoons of my cashew cream sauce and then I had two whole avocados, some cilantro, jalapeno, garlic again, and lime juice. And I made like a dressing for um, Frankie for this week for salads. And then also I made some salsa. These are like, I didn't have time to actually insert all of these recipes, but yeah, so I made that. And then the last thing that I made that I did not show you guys um, is I keep a stock of pre-made pancakes. And then I just will batch freeze them. And so I made a bunch of those so that Frankie would have plenty of breakfast. Frankie or whoever's watching the kids will have plenty of breakfast options that are easy for the kids um, so they're not like stressing over food. So, yeah, meal prep is done. So when you spend a good portion of the day cooking, the last thing you wanna do is make dinner. So we are having a very not vegan, not plant-based dinner tonight. Three cheese frozen pizza. It must be somewhat good though, because it says organic. Or something that I do for ease of prep. Thumbs up to our Christmas like fans. Hope you like that. And who's gonna miss mommy while I'm gone? Um. <laughs> The video was about all the food I'm making for you guys while you're while I'm gone. All the food over there is for us. All the food in there, yeah. Um, Sound good? Sounds good. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for watching. Tonight we're having pizza. Tonight we're having pizza. It's gonna be the goodest ever. <laughs> it's gonna be the goodest. Yes. Oh. Nobody ah. could stand pizza. <laughs> and it's tea. So <gasps> there goes don't Daisy want. down the slide. Oh my god. Okay. Well, the baby's fine. The baby survived. So, thank you for watching. I hope this thank meal prep gave watching. you some awesome. good inspiration. Um, I typically would have probably had this all done in the morning, but we had Emmy's cast appointment, so that did not happen. So, yeah. Wish me luck this week, and we will see you back next Wednesday. Yeah. <laughs>
It is a girl. It is not a boy. You might think that because you don't know. And then moving on to smallest. As some people can think, this is a type of video that should be coming up on Honey Out Say. You guys don't watch that, but all family does. Um, if you don't have the channel, just look up Honey Hall C, and then just do a plain O C at the end of it, and then you'll find Honey Hall C in this video might be out. You never know. If you guys could feel it, I wish you guys could, but she is very, very soft. This is the last horse I want to show you because she's a pretty amazing. This little horse. I know she might look like she doesn't do anything special, but she has highlights in her hair and she has cutie marks all over her and a necklace. Oh, and watch. Her eyes glow in the dark. So if you guys ever, ever own the dark, go to a clothing store and you can find them in probably the toys. Bye guys!